So I said I'd record some videos to help keep you engaged with the golf club and with golf as we have this forced stay of absence. So I've been in today, we've been tidying away and locking up and Simon's been, been here helping me and quite rightly he's accused me of having some kind of separation anxiety when it comes to clearing out some of the displays and some of the stands that uh, we've accumulated over 18 years. And, and I think it's understandable really because everywhere I look everything reminds me of some of the great members and some of the great people that make a golf club like Broughton Hall what it is. Even as I'm up above the shop here, this is um, a room where we store items. The carpet was given to me by a great lady, Jill Sly. That came from her dining room, I think it was. Uh, when we made this habitable a few years ago, she helped us out with that. We've got a display unit, which was is where we keep the boxes and the shafts. Um, Tony Johnson made that for me and put that in place. Tony also provided these benches in the room here where we repair the trolleys. John Hunt's helped me out in here. Steve Bloxham's helped me. Graham, Paul Hodkinson helps a lot. As I go through into the studio, Jack Murphy's helped us make all these units here on both sides for the golf heads and the shafts. Um, I've now got to clear all these away. I've got to package these all away and take them down. And um, we see all the heads we've got from Camelo, TMA, Strixon, Mizuno, Cobra, Titleist, Ping. Steve Whitten helps me with all the heads. Steve drills all the hosels out for me so we get them to the exact same depth, the exact same weight every club head so we can put these adapters on. So every brand has the same adapters, we can use whatever we shaft we want in every head. Uh, Sean Nelson's put all these hooks in, all 308 hooks on both sides. Um, bad news is Sean, we've got another 300 to do shortly. Um, as I go around here, the putting green, this was laid down by Richard LePage for us, complete with fringe areas. And we've got chairs here provided by um, Steve and Steph Bergen. We've got this unit was given to me by Dave Thacker. That was some years ago. That's where we keep the secondhand golf clubs and shafts. Even as I go down the stairs here, even just the painting, when we first did this, 2006, Mike Richards came and gave us a hand, Ian Collingham, Julie Collingham, Ian Ashton, Dave Parks. We've got the wall where people sign us and leave us messages after they've won competitions or had a hole in one. Um, as I go through into the shop, I've got the gripping station and the uh, workbench and different workbenches. These are all supplied by Nigel Clemson. And the Prince of Darkness put some shelves up for us years ago. I think Isabel supplied the tiles for the, the floor down here. Richard Page did this flooring for us. Um, literally everywhere I look there's a reminder of the, the great people and the great help that we've had. Phil Rowbottom made the changing room for us there. He also made this display item, which is now our coffee bar. Katie's dad put the slat walling up with uh, myself and Steve Levitt did that with me. Uh, again, Dave Thacker provided the flooring. That was 18 years ago. Probably I could do with replacing that, to be fair. Steve Keynes made this room here for us to house Katie's sweatshop, our embroidery machine. Uh, so many people have helped us over the years and hopefully we can carry on this community very shortly um, and we can get back out here again back out to this wonderful golf course and we can rejoin the deer and share this land so hope you all stay well take care and i will see you soon